everybody. My name is Kendall. Um, I'm a senior at Omaha North. Be <laughs> I have the sexual appeal of a rat. Now, I know they have a short gestation period and a lot of sex, but no man in their right mind would ever want to tap that I see the way you're looking at me. I'm not saying this to be showered with compliments. Your words will not change the opinions I have of my body. Please, don't shower me with your compliments. Your words are incapable of changing the preconceived deception or preconceived notions I've allowed myself to develop about my body. Like in third grade, a classmate asked me what trimester I was in, so for the rest of the year, I told, I said I was fat, so she didn't have to remind me I wasn't thin. I still call myself fat, so others don't have to. It's synonymous with that, and the problem runs just as deep. You see, I'm saying this to clear the awkward sexual tension in the air you've created between you and me. I see the way you look at me when I walk away. Your gaze on my hips like you would love to taste my forbidden fruits. Well, when your tongue touches my flesh, you will feel fur. Your delicate palate will be flooded with all of the places I have been in. The dumpsters and trash cans and walls and sewers I have scurried will coat your tongue. You will taste the histories of my body on the skin. I'm saying this to shame you for sexually objectifying my body. I am saying this to shame those that have made sexual objects of my body. I have learned when I speak, I must be over articulate. When I'm panicked, my words come out in squeaks and squeals, indiscernible to human ears. So it wasn't my fault. She didn't hear my nose as she tasted me, and when she undressed me, she didn't see flesh and bone, but fur and trash. And when he attacked me, he didn't feel teeth break skin, but soft sensual nibbles egging him on. And my kicks aimed to kill fell against him as soft paws. And when he was inside of me, he didn't feel the tremors shaking my body because they were lost in fur. And for four months following when my biological deluge did not occur, it wasn't what I thought it was because my gestation period lasts but 22 days. And when the red rain finally came, the pains I could not stave away were just washing all the remnants of him away. It wasn't my fault. But those tears hide still in bags beneath my eyes. And when I close my eyes, the beasts still come out. You do not just wake up wanting to be a beast. You do not wake up saying, thinking bestiality is an affable hobby, but it's a subconscious product of a damagingly influential environment nonetheless. But still. When I close my eyes, old memories are made fresh and felt again on scarred flesh, and I'm afraid to love. I'm afraid to let you in and to taste you, taste your skin and let you taste me, because I'm afraid you will taste the histories of my skin on this body. And you will learn, you will yearn, and I will not have yet learned that it was never my fault, and I will become a rat again. Yeah.